At night, the streets grow treacherous. Each step is fraught with danger. When I was only a child, I became one of the street's victims, spiraling downward with no solid foundation to hold me up. Ever since then, I've been obsessed with fighting back, taking matters into my own hands, rather than waiting for someone else to protect me. I don't think of myself as a hero, but I'm sure a lot of other people do. When I was eight years old, I slipped on an icy patch outside of school, fell backwards, and broke both my wrists. My parents gave me a computer that year. It was the worst Christmas ever. I used to use salt like everyone else. I found it to be a little too passive. I wanted to get immersed in the process. I mean, when Batman takes on the Joker, he doesn't just throw a little salt on the ground. He uses every weapon and utility belt. And that way, I'm a lot like Batman. And I guess flick sidewalks are a lot like Joker. Except worse. I used to wear a ski mask uh, until about four years ago when I started wearing a costume. The ski mask helps with the cold nights, but I guess, you know, running around at night, uh, scraping snow off people's cars and de-icing their locks, some people got the wrong idea. Got arrested. Only twice. I think the costume makes a big difference. You see a man in your driveway wearing a superhero costume with a hair dryer, saving from the pitfalls of winter, he's not going to call the police. Mr. Wachowski did. Only once. And besides, it lets me keep my identity secret. Each morning is another challenge. Sometimes the snow just won't stop falling. Sometimes the temperature is just too cold. Sometimes the extension cord gets caught in the landscaping. People ask me why I do it. Actually, it's mostly her. She asks me every day. I just don't get it. I don't do it for me. I mean, I don't really leave the house all that often anyways. I do it to protect the innocent and the helpless. Those who don't know enough to not run on the sidewalks when there's ice. I do it for my children. I can't protect them from everything in life, but I know they'll never have to experience the terror of feeling their feet fly out from under them and then crashing down to the ground. They'll never have to spend an entire Christmas break reading comic books while their brother plays with their brand new Apple IIe. Look out, Mr. Freeze. <laughs>